Hello, so Nine Motor Gang. I'm just gonna be doing a quick breakdown explanation video of our little prototype thing before it gets destroyed. Um, so essentially, this is hooks, pretty basic stuff. Um, oops, that's the wrong way. Um, just kind of scored onto the goal. Um, pretty basic. Some of a rubber band snapped on the goal, so it's not held in quite as nicely as it was before. But basically, the general idea is this one uh, scoops it off directly off the ground, which I know a lot of teams don't do. They have an intake or something, but it's pretty easy. I mean, there's a fair amount of wiggle room that you can have on it still in order to pick it up. It definitely doesn't require as much precision as tipping point. Um, so I think just a decently good funnel will work. It um, doesn't have to be very precise. The main thing is that you have a consistent back, which as long as you're driving forward shouldn't be an issue. Um, so then moving on, next part is the hook. We found this shape to work pretty well. Um, I guess that's a hexagon. Um, we tried some other things, still tuning that a little bit, but essentially the idea is, is you want it to be as big as possible while still allowing the ring to freely rotate. Um, and if you go much larger than this, it's not gonna be able to freely rotate, you're gonna add some extra friction. Um, and those are two inch standoffs because it's a two inch ring. Um, so essentially you just want it to be able to rotate. Then in order for just sitting there, uh, that's what the other polycarb is for. Um, is you want some sort of support for the ring um, so that it doesn't like fall off your hook. You want this to be like pretty, not tight, but you don't there want there to be really any wiggle room in there. So that's the main thing with that. Um, and then as you actually go around the goal, that'll just kind of help throw it off. So, yeah. Um, then some other things are, is big sprocket at the bottom, small sprocket at the top is ideal, um, just because that's gonna be, your linear motion will be slower um, when you're picking it up, which will make the ring less likely to fly off. But then you do want it to fly up up here, so the smaller the better. Um, which is something that we're working on fixing. But yes, slower down there is good. And then the other thing that we have to counteract this is, this is also very important, is um, what's called the bonk bar, um, which is really just anything. Um, this is just like a shaft, a poor shaft. Um, it essentially stops the ring from just flying off whenever you pick up the ring, because it would otherwise. So as you can see here, it stops the ring from just flying off. Um, and then if I, well, I'm not gonna take it out, but because it's like wedged in there. But if you don't have that, then the ring just goes flying off. Um, I'll see if I have a video of testing that I can put in there. So that pretty much covers the whole design. Pretty simple, um, just one motor I think is plenty fine. And I believe that's a green cartridge. Um, and then hook, when you, if you're trying to pick up off the ground, you wanna go as close to the ground as possible without actually touching it. Um, and then of course, just make sure you have a consistent spot for the goal. And that's pretty much it.